Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and I'm going to introduce you to use the 3D Objects tool in Paint 3D. If you want to watch a full tutorial on Paint 3D, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video, which was about using the first 5 3D objects, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to show you how to use 3D objects in Paint 3D. I'm going to open Paint 3D from the Windows Programs list. Click Start. And then on Paint 3D. Now that Paint 3D is open, I'm going to open a new blank canvas by clicking on New. Here you can see the blank canvas. I'm going to click on the 3D Shapes tool. In the sidebar here, you can see the 3D objects. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to the last five 3D objects, which is the bottom row. I'm going to start off with the cylinder, so I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to left click and drag on the canvas to draw it. You can see that I can resize it if I left click and drag on this canvas. If I let go of left click, the shape will be in position. I'm going to let go of left click. You can see that the shape is in position. So if I left click and drag on the shape, you can see that I can move it across the canvas. You can see four handles around it and grip points around its selection. I'm going to resize it with its grip points. Now I'm going to rotate it by its x-axis. You can see that it has been rotated. Now I'm going to rotate it by its y-axis. Now I'm going to rotate it by its z-axis. The last handle is the depth strider. It is for moving it back and forth through the canvas to decide where you want to put it. So it's called the z-axis position. Left click and drag. You can see how far you want it through the canvas and how far you want it out of the canvas. So if I want it all behind the canvas, I have to drag it back and you can only see the outline that is because it is behind the canvas if I deselected it like this by clicking outside of the selection you can see that there is no more shape but if I go to the global toolbar and I click on 3D view and I right click and drag you can see that the shape is behind the canvas. So I'm going to click on the select tool and I'm going to select the shape. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to use the Z axis position handle. I'm going to left click and drag. So this time it only lets me bring it up and down. So I'm going to bring it up so it's above the canvas. Now I'm going to turn off 3D view by clicking on 3D view again. Now if I zoom out and I left click and drag, I can use the Z axis position handle again to bring it forwards. Left click and drag. Now it's in front of the canvas and I can left click and drag to bring it down. Now if I zoom in again you can see the shape is here. You can also edit its color with edit color. Whenever you select a shape which is 3D the sidebar will change to these options. I'm going to click on edit color. I'm going to change its color to orange and I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to deselect it by clicking outside the selection box 
Now I'm going to move on to the second shape, which is the tube. I'm going to left click and drag. Now if I rotate it with the X axis, and I rotate it with the Y axis rotation handle, you can see the tube. I'm going to edit its color, and I'm going to change it to red. I'm going to click outside the color palette to close the color palette. You can see that the shape is now deselected, so I'm going to click on the select tool, and I'm going to reselect it. Now, if you want to customize this shape, you can customize it by drawing on it with the brush. So you can choose any tool and you can left click and drag on here. So currently the brush color is blue and currently I'm on the marker pen. Now I'm going to left click and drag on the shape to draw. And when you are drawing on a 3D shape, there will be another handle popping up called free rotation handle. So you don't have to escape the command, then just left click and drag on the free rotation handle and you can rotate it however you like and you can draw on the other side. You can do this with any other brush. I'm going to demonstrate the eraser to you as well. It's the same, if I left click and drag, it will erase what I have drawn. Now if I move on to the third shape, I'm going to go to 3D Shapes tool, and I'm going to click on the capsule. Left click and drag. This time, I'm going to rotate it with its Z-axis rotation handle. I'm going to rotate it so it's like this, and I'm going to rotate it so it's like this. Okay, now I'm going to bring half of it behind the canvas by left clicking and dragging on the Z axis position handle. Now if I let go of left click, you'll see that half the shape is behind the canvas. If I deselect the shape by clicking outside the selection box, you can see that half the shape is missing. I can also customize the shape with stickers and lighting effects. I'm going to start off with stickers. In stickers, there are three tabs. Stickers, textures, and personal stickers. I'm going to start off with stickers. First of all, I'm going to an eyeball on this capsule. I'm going to left click and drag. Here you can see the eye. Now, if I stamp it, it will stay there. If I want to, I can rotate it with the Z-axis rotation handle. I'm just going to stamp it to show you what stamp does. If I left click and drag the sticker away, you can see that it has been stuck on, but I still have a copy of it here. So if I want it on this shape here, which is the cylinder, I can rotate the shape as well when stickers are on it. You can do this with any 3D object. Here's the tube. You can see that it's inside the tube. I'm going to commit it inside the tube. You can also do this with textures and the rest of the stickers. It's the same with custom stickers as well. I'm going to do the bushes texture or the hedge texture. I'm going to do it on the cylinder. I'm going to make it as big as I can. Then I'm going to left click and drag it on top of the cylinder. And I'm going to stamp it. And I'm going to rotate it with free rotation handle. If I move it out the way, you can see that a lot of it has not been filled. So I'm going to move this on top, use the free rotation handle, and try to stamp it. And if I rotate it with the free rotation handle, that's good. So I'm going to commit it. And I'm going to click on the shape. And I'm going to use the rotation to show you how much I've failed. I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside of the selection box. 
You can do the same with the rest of the textures. I'm going to move on to lighting effects. For this video, I'm going to show you how lighting effects works. There are certain types of lighting effects. These are set ones. I'm just going to move to the day for Minecraft, so that's one of the themes. I'm just going to click on that. Then I'm going to show you the lighting effects and how they change with the light wheel. So if I change it by left clicking and dragging on this sun symbol, you can see that there is not much change, but if you notice carefully, there is a subtle change in the shadows. So I'm just going to keep it like this, now I'm going to move on to 2D shapes. 2D shapes act like stickers when put onto 3D shapes. So I'm going to do that with this rounded square. I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to make its fill colour green. And I'm going to make its line type indigo. And I'm going to click on commit. If I zoom in, you can see that it wrapped around there. Now, I still have two more shapes to show you. This is the curved cylinder, and this is the donut. I'm going to start off with the curved cylinder. I'm going to left click and drag. You can adjust its shape and size by left clicking and dragging across the screen. I still haven't let go of left click. I'm going to make it like this, and if I let go of left click again, you can move it about, it's selected. I'm going to rotate it, so you can see the 3D effect. And I also, like all the other shapes, can bring it back and forth. I'm going to bring it in front, and I'm going to edit its colour. I'm going to make it brown or dark red. So, yes, this is dark red. I'm going to make it go like that. And I'm going to click outside the selection to deselect it. I'm going to draw the donut. So, here's the donut. Again, it's like any other 3D shape. I can change its colour, I can adjust it with its grip points, so like that. I can rotate it. I'm going to change the colour of this donut, and I'm going to click on Edit Colour. I'm going to make it gold. I'm going to click outside the selection box to deselect the shape. I'm going to click on brushes tool and I'm going to use another one of my brushes. I'm going to use the spray can. I'm going to choose the brown colour. You can see that it's only painting it lightly so it's only coming slowly. If you want to 3D print it, go to menu and go to print. There will be two options, 2D print and 3D print. If you want to 3D print, click on 3D print and this will take you to the setup to 3D print it. I'm going to click on back and I'm going to zoom out. Now that I've added a brown tint to it, it looks like icing. I might change that to pink. Maybe slightly around here if I left click. You can see that it looks like icing. Now if I go to the marker and I go to some colourful, now I'm going to make the thickness of this marker very thin. This little, little icing, what do you call them? The sprinkles. You can do that with lots of different colours, I'm just going to do that with two colours. Okay, I think brown is too hard to see, 
So I'm going to use red. Now that I've finished with the last five 3D objects, I'm going to save this file. Menu, save. If you ever have a 3D object in your Paint 3D model or project, you have to save it as a Paint 3D project or 3D model to access it again as a 3D object. Otherwise, if you save it as an image or a video, you can't really access it as a 3D object anymore. So I'm going to just save it as a Paint 3D project. I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it Last 5 3D Shapes. Before that, I'm going to change shapes to objects. Now I'm going to click on Save and Paint 3D. Now that I've finished this and I've saved this, I'm going to close Paint 3D. In my future videos, I'll be posting tutorials on Paint 3D and how to make games in Python. I hope that this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links for all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at vortexcenter at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!